Okay, welcome everybody. We're going to get started with uh, just a brief uh, pre-concert talk. So we'll learn a little bit about the pieces and our performer. Um, my name is Federico Bonacosa. I'm one of the members, board members of the, the Last Hundred organization. We also have Daniela Dinjulo and Juan Trigos, who's our artistic director. And uh, I guess I should also mention we have uh, an upcoming season that will take place. Our next concert will be in January 27th here in the concert hall. It's going to be a large ensemble concert featuring music by Sofia Bubadulina and Nielsen as well. And we, maybe something else. We'll figure it out. Uh, but it's I, good enough that way. Okay, so Juan, why don't you introduce our guest and... Uh, well, uh, welcome everybody. So I'm, I'm very happy to introduce you uh, our uh, guest, uh, guitar player uh, from Brazil, uh, Ned, uh, Geraldo Costaneto. And um, we are very happy to have you. So he is, I'm, I'm very proud uh, because uh, my countryman, Dieter, Dieter Hennis, is his teacher. He started, uh, he's finishing his uh, doctorate in Kentucky, Lexington, Kentucky Lexington. University. And um, after that, I would love if you could tell something about yourself, about your background, and then about the program, of course. Let the last piece, the awful one, to me. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, so again, uh, I'm Geraldo Neto. Uh, I'm from Brazil. I, I moved to the U.S. in 2018 to start my master's in guitar performance at the University of Kentucky. Um, I ended up staying there. Now I'm a DMA student over there. Uh, I am on my second year, almost uh, finishing my, my doctoral. And I, I, I don't come from a, a family of musicians or that has a tradition of listening or appreciate, appreciating music, um, but I always felt fascinated by music and I always felt an attraction that I couldn't explain. And because of that, when I was around 13, uh, I implored, I begged my dad to, to give me a, a guitar. And by that time, it was not classical guitar, my thing. I wanted to play electric guitar. So I started with electric guitar. And the years passed, I kept practicing a lot, I always loved to do that, and, and I wanted to play classical guitar just like that. Like in my, in my mind, I had this idea of classical music, and I wanted to know what it was, and I wanted to, to be part of it. And because of that, I started to play classical guitar when I was around 17. Now I'm 26. And... Yeah, this is part of, uh, I think that, that summarizes who, who I am. Um, for the repertoire of today, the, the pieces, the music that I'm going to be playing, um, it's, a, it's a variety, but uh, it's definitely the music that I love, that I picked by, by finger, like each one of these pieces. Uh, they are pieces that I really love, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start the concert with a Spanish piece by Manuel de Falla. So this piece is called Homage pour le tambo de Claude Debussy. It's a tribute to, to Debussy, to the French composer Debussy. Um, followed by the, this piece, it's a short piece. Uh, followed by this piece, I will be performing a piece by a Finnish composer called Magnus Lindberg. This composer uh, is alive, um, and this is, at least from my knowledge, this is his only piece for solo guitar. So it's a really important piece uh, in, in, the, in the guitar repertoire, and it's a really long piece. This piece, it's, it's definitely almost 20 minutes. Followed by that, I, being a Brazilian, I would like to perform some Brazilian music. I always like to, to have Brazilian music in my concerts, so I will be performing uh, the Etude Number no. 5 by Heitor Villalobos, Brazilian composer, from his series of 12 Etudes. And after that, I play the Partita by Maestro Juan Trigo, so Who are you? <laughs> yeah, so if you could talk a little bit about the partita. Well, uh, thank you, Geraldo. So uh, just a little question before I speak about the partita. How you get in, 
with Lexington? Yes, well, um, I was a, an undergrad in Brazil, and I, my professor, my guitar professor in Brazil, is studied at the University of Arizona. He, he studied there for both his master's and doctorals. And over there, uh, he, he had the chance of meeting uh, my professor nowadays, which studied there at the same time, Dr. Hennings. So Dieter Hennings was studying there at the same time of my professor from Brazil, Guilherme. They developed this friendship, at a certain year, um, Dr. Hennings came to Brazil um, to, to perform a concert and to teach. And, and that was when I, I, I met him for the first time. And I, I had already heard uh, great things about him and I really wanted to meet him. So it was my opportunity and, you know, I was already looking for schools uh, to, to apply for, for schools in, in, in the U.S. And, and I grabbed the, the opportunity. He offered me a scholarship and, and that was the it beginning helps. of it. That was the beginning of it, <laughs> yes. Great, thank you. Well, um, I would say just a few words about this, uh, my piece called Partita. The Partita is an, an ancient form, so it's cousin or brother of the suite, the famous suite, which is not the same as we understand now. So it's a bunch of pieces, but uh, in that time, that period, we are talking about uh, the 18th century, it was a bunch of dances pieces, no? usually in the same, in the same um, clef, so the same, the same mode, no? but uh, they used to put sometimes even 15 or 18 pieces. Uh, they didn't think to play it, uh, the, all of it at once, no? probably a couple of, of pieces of that. But, the purpose uh, it was to have instrumental music based on the dance. Partita is pretty much the same. There is a kind of confusion sometimes with partita, suite, and sonata. The, I'm not talking about the, the sonata form, the new the sonata form we know now. So, but the sonatas in the same do, suonare in Italian, no, to be played, to be suonato. No? So that's that's the origin more or less. Partita means you know divided, not partire. Partir is to, to live also, no? in Italian, but means uh, divided. So it, it has the, the, the intention to have a bunch of pieces, sometimes also with variations. So I took this idea as a, as a concept. You have the uh, virtuoso aspect of the instrument. So it is written uh, like very idiomatic for the instrument. You have this kind of... Uh, continuous variation of the same material, and you have the dance element. Of course, in, in, because it's a new piece, it's a modern piece, I will put you know, some attention on that. It, it is be, a, a abstract, in abstract way, the, the, the dance element. So you will feel all the rhythms, you will feel all the, the intentions of the dance, but it's in abstract way. No? So I'm very instrumental. So it's not for be dance. It's not intended to be dance, but it, it has that intention. No? So uh, talking about the, the 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 difficulty of the piece. So I will tell you some uh, very short story about the piece. No. So his teacher asked me. Actually, he he was uh, calling me almost every day to write um, a very short piece, something like an encore piece two or three minutes, because when I play your concerto, I need another piece, blah, blah, And I say, okay, I don't have the time now. It was summertime. I visited my father, actually, here in, here in Miami. I was living in Toronto at that period. And I said, okay, I will start. And uh, start, to, you know, a couple of chords, and it became 20-minute piece. No? So I didn't say a thing and send this chord to, to theater and say, this is the, your concept of encore, right? <laughs> Say, I am sorry, dear. Well, it is, it is uh, a funny story, but basically become a, a, an important piece of, of my series of compositions, especially for guitar. I, I wrote, um, I, I would say this one for solo guitar is my first long piece. No? I have a couple of concertos before that for, for guitar and orchestra, small orchestra and a little bigger orchestra. I have a, a, a no, I wrote after, after those concertos this piece in 2007. It has the premiere in Rome, Italy in uh, uh, November. 2007. 
December? Two, yeah. Two, December two, 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 2007, yeah, in Rome. And uh, well, I think it's good enough to know. I don't know if you want to add something or, or if you have some questions for us. Well, I guess I will make a comment about uh, Gerardo. One of the, the admirable things that he does is that he's very much interested in contemporary music, which is not that common for students. Most of the time, and guitar classical players. music students tend to really focus on the repertoire, uh, which, is, which is good, of course, and it's important to do. Um, but what ends up happening is the repertoire you hear in concerts is often kind of stagnant, sort of the same things all the time. And part, part of it is it just it takes a lot of time to learn pieces that you've never heard or seen, and it takes sometimes a lot of back and forth with the composer. So I know you, you've commissioned a new piece that hopefully not we'll get today. to hear. We're not going to hear it today, but no. soon. Okay, good. So no, the, the only thing I want to add to the, the thing is, is, the, is the fact he's playing Magnus Lindbergh, Right. Which is, it was student of Donatoni, my teacher. Ah, that's so funny. There's, but There's you didn't know that, no? I knew. <laughs> you knew that? Oh, okay, okay. so there I is a I did some research. I'm glad. <laughs> sorry, I interrupted. No, no, that's good. I didn't know that. So. No, I interrupted you. Yeah, no, no, that's fine. I was not. Um, okay, so I guess we'll just give him a couple minutes to. to do you want to say something else? Or? Well, I just want to say how glad I am to be here. Okay. and. Thank you so much for this opportunity, Maestro, Federico, Daniela, and yeah, that's... Thank you. Okay, so we'll, we'll start right at in nine minutes, okay, just to give a few people a chance to show up. Thank, Thank you. you again for coming. Okay.
thank you. Uh, it's a pleasure being here um, this afternoon playing for, for everybody. It's an honor that Maestro Trigos, uh, Daniela and Federico organized this event for me. I mean, I feel, I feel so glad, so I just wanted to say that once more. It's, it's an honor for me being here and performing for you. And, and I hope you enjoy those pieces. They, they mean a lot to me. Uh, so I just played the homage for the BC by Manuel de Faya. I will be performing now Mano a Mano by Magnus Lindbergh.
So this is going really fast, actually. Um, I, well, again, it's a pleasure being here. I'm enjoying a lot this, this concert playing for you. And now I'll play the last piece. Now, this is a long piece. It's the longest piece. But as my second one too, I already talked about it, but it's in five movements, five dances. Um, so, so yeah, I hope you enjoy. This is uh, Partita for Guitar by Maestro Juan Trigos. Thank you. 
Thank you.